Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. We have a dinosaur that has apparently broken out and is panicking for a number of different reasons, partly because of the storm and also partly because he's very lonely and afraid of being lonely. Um, we're working on making more stegosauruses. Yeah, okay. That one needs to be tranquilized as well. Uh, except he's, like, stuck in a wall. There we go. Yeah, trank him. Get the ranger station to repair obstructed. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Get him trank too. And actually, while we're at it, come over there and repair that. And then come repair this. Might as well do all the repairs at once, right? But we want to get these things tranquilized. I should have some fossils in here. Yeah, good, good, good. And we're doing pretty good. The science division is always on Tentrosaurus? We can check it and see if that's something we have access to. I'm 100% on Brachiosaurus, so I can just sell that. Potosaurus is new. Sell these. Okay. Let's take a peek. Can I? Oh, that's the wrong one. Here we go. Can I get Kentrosaurus anywhere? Started with a K. It is possible that I don't have access to it. Myosaurus. Okay, so far no luck. Nothing down there. Stegosaurus, Ceratosaurus, Baryonyx, Spinosaurus, Spinosaurus. I don't think I can do that one. That's a little unfortunate. Okay, that's fine. Um, I gotta find my emergency shelter. I know I had one somewhere. I thought I had one over here, but I'm not seeing it now. Uh, where is this other emergency shelter? I disguised it very well, apparently. Bar. Power station. Okay, for real. Uh, <laughs> let's look at the map. Power station, restaurant, hotel, rival point, low low health. What has low health? You. Go heal. I'm wondering. I don't know where this other... Oh, you know what? I think all of my emergency shelters are down here. I don't think I actually have an emergency shelter up there that I think about it, because I got one here, one here, and then I th think I've got one. Yeah, right there. So all my emergency shelters are down there. I need one up here, for sure. Do we need to go up guests? Emergency shelter. Here we go. We definitely need one of those up here somewhere. Um, The question is, where? Let's put one right there. That's a good spot for it. And then we probably want one maybe like over here somewhere as well. If I can find a suitable location like right there. Beautiful. All right, we'll get those built. Now you release the Stegosaurus. You incubate a new Stegosaurus. And then as soon as this one's done releasing, I'm going to breed up one more. Because we want them all together. They like, they're like they very social creatures. They like to be out and about. So incubate. Another. There we go. Alright, that's good. You trank this guy. You transport him into here. And him into here. Once this guy's tranked, we'll move him there as well. I don't know how many of them we actually need in the pen, but... It's more than this. Yeah, he's attacking the fence, too. Uh, okay. Ranger team. Come fix fence. And go fix that one, too, while you're at it. And fix this. Go, go fix all the fences. Okay. And then you tranquilize these guys. I just... I know they're social creatures, and that's why they're rebelling. Uh, open all shelters just to make it easy. 
want to get people into there so they don't get attacked by these dinosaurs. I mean, the stegosauruses, I don't know if they're going to actually mess people up real bad, like but... You have everything under control. Dinosaur threat. It's only one. It's only this guy. And thankfully, they don't eat people. They just trample people. And now he's tranquilized. Okay, there we go. Transport you into here and you into here. Hopefully that will be enough to keep these guys contained and happy. So we're now good. Close all shelters. Should be fine. As for what to research next on a dinosaur standpoint, um, let's go maybe like you and uh, those. Sure, we'll, we'll do those two. We don't have any fossils right now, so that's fine. You're still doing stuff. Go check on our Brachiosauruses and see if they're happy. They all seem happy except this one who d doesn't have enough forest. Except now he's moving towards the forest, so maybe he'll be happy in a minute. <laughs> I don't know. They can't make up their dang minds. Uh, Alright, feeders. Asset transportation in go fix. Progress. There we go. You are too awake right now, and you're going to start busting out again, aren't you? Yep, of course you are. Okay. You come here. Like, they're just not happy with the population and the social and the stuff. And I can see them busting up these fences already. So we're going to open this shelter. And we're going to open this shelter. And have them all get inside. Because otherwise, they're just going to keep busting down fences. Someone needs to tell them that is not acceptable behavior. Are you actually fine now? No, you still need even more social. How many stegosauruses do we actually need in here? Getting a little ridiculous. Uh, ranger team, you, come fix that. And then we'll need to fix that one, too. Yeah, they're all just trying to bust out. I've got a couple more stegosauruses up there. You know what? In fact... Helicopter. You. Trank. 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 Uh... Uh... Why, why you know trank the next one? Can you not trank this guy? You? Go fix the wall. And they're ready. Okay, release. Uh. Oh. Come on. You, this, cancel. Come and do that guy instead. And then we'll do this one, too. Because we're going to move all of them. You get moved to over here. You trank that one as well. And we'll move all those guys into this pen. And then they'll all be happy. That's the goal, anyway. Collecting asset. En route to pick up the asset. There we go. You over here. Asset collection request. And like, once you have them, they're perfectly fine. It's just a matter of actually getting them. Assets in the air. And this dude's just roaming. So, come tranquilize him. I don't know how I missed that one before, but apparently I did. 
Unless he woke up, which I guess is possible, but whatever. Asset transportation underway. Okay, we're starting to get some stuff. Some of it is not stuff that we need, but some of it is useful. And we can... Close. Uh, you know what? We'll just open, close. There we go. That's probably the fastest way to do it. Asset we said you. And, uh, yeah, those two right there. That'll get us the stuff we need. Transport you to over here as well. There, maybe now they'll all finally be semi-happy. Repair obstructed. What is the repair obstructed by? The dinosaur, I guess? Are you guys gonna stop being miserable now and actually start being happy again? Yes. Good. Alright, did, did, did you actually repair the fence? Doesn't look repaired to me. I see a giant busted up hole in it. I mean, it says it's obstructed. I don't know why, but... Whatever. I'll just leave it be. These guys will be fine shortly. So now... I think, let's take a look at our management views here, and let's see. They want more fun over here. They're good on shopping. They need more drinks as well. So we need, really? You're the... That's not good enough for you, food-wise? I'm kind of surprised. Fence broken. Of course. Just keep busting the fences. The one that I said you should repair. <laughs> These stupid stegosauruses are becoming more and more of a problem. Oh, and now it's instantly fixed. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and do the thing. Go fix them up and trank them, and then we'll get them inside, and then they'll all be happy. It'll just take... Oof. These guys. Are you guys all happy? Yes, they're fine. So that at least is good. Do we have another loose dinosaur that I didn't see? No, just the one. Okay. Transport you into here. And you into here. Okay, I think our Stegosaurus problems are finally solved. I hope. Because that was getting a little absurd. All right. Now that we've dealt with that for the last 20 minutes, uh, <laughs> let's go guests. Let's find a bar. The bar. There we go. And let's figure out where we can put one of these. Where it will help this whole area. I'm kind of leaning towards, like, right about there. Put a bar. Commencing asset and then go, um... Also guests, and maybe do like a bowling alley, which also contributes to food and drink. That cannot go on the path right there, though. So we may just have, uh, maybe I'll just have to go without the bowling alley. That wouldn't be the end of the world. I could live without a bowling alley. Delivery complete. And we've got some unused space and stuff like that here, but I think it's fine. Uh, storm defense station... Actually, isn't there a management view where I can look and... Yeah, here we go. Storm protection. Yeah, so this stuff is all protected from storms for the most part anyway. That's good. And once these are all built up and everything, we'll be good there. We do want to look at this large power station, I just realized, and go output protection. Improved. 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 And improved. There we go. So that will generate us more power. Money-wise, we are very profitable, so that's good. And then, I think we can finally get back to expanding a little bit. I'm not sure, like, what we're 
try unlocked jungle. I guess that's a uh, a skin like a a color palette for the dinosaurs unlocked at a five star rating. I mean, we're well above a three star rating on this particular island, so that's good. And it seems like I can't really do much here. Maybe we can go landscaping and go flatten and say, hey, I want this down at a lower level so I can actually, like, do stuff with this terrain. Nope. No, 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 no. Let's do something like that. That should be a little bit better. And then we'll just kind of, like, smooth out some of these edges and... Just kind of smooth it a little bit. There we go. Now maybe I will be able to fit that bowling alley, perhaps. Yeah, look at that. Now I can. Let's put that right there. And that will be very nice. And then we can go paths. You can connect over here. Eh, a little too far. Take this. That uh, again. A little too much. You want to kind of wrap this back like uh, let's actually go demolish that path you to here and like so. Just so there's a little bit of a, a pathway kind of leading around. I think that's all good. Now, remember, we've got this monorail that's got to continue as well. And that's going to continue all the way to over here. And then it will wrap back around to over here eventually. So this place is, like, huge at the moment. we got a lot of space to work with and a lot of stuff we can do. And I intend to take advantage of that. Um, the other thing, we have a little bit more space over here, too. So we could go, like... As far as operations and stuff, it's not really necessary... You don't need the fossil center, ACU center, all that kind of stuff. Doesn't really matter. We do. We could put like a fossil zone back here. That's something we've never had before. I don't know how incredibly awesome that would be. Like, I don't know if it's really good for anything, but... Or if I could find like a better spot to put it, that would be nice too. I don't think we're going to fit anything over here. And not anything of consequence anyway. I wouldn't mind sliding one of those in somewhere. Maybe, like, I don't know. Here wouldn't be bad. Let's just put one in. Let's put one, like, right there. Let's put one in see what happens. And then we'll go guests and maybe do... Uh, not another bar, but maybe... A gift shop, perhaps? Will that fit over here? Yes, it will. Right there. Beautiful. Still needs power. That's easy. We can maybe even fit a small substation in right here. Uh, or maybe not. That's okay. We can, however, fit one... Well, we could fit one right there if it weren't for the path being laid out the way it is. Um... I don't really want to slide. I guess we'll, you know what? We'll, let's put it back here. That seems like a good spot for it. And then we'll go like to here and like so. And then that way this is all connected up. We've got plenty of shopping and all that kind of stuff. Drawing guests in. That should do the trick. Okay, now what I'm thinking. I want to take this picture so we can complete this pretty easily. So let's go to our ranger station. Let's take a ranger team. Um, just kidding. We need to drive it ourselves. You drive. And we want to, I think, swing into here. And see if maybe we can take a picture here worth a whole lot of money. Oh, and actually... Let's do that. 
There we go. That's a nice picture. That takes care of that. All right. Now, as for that feeder. Looks like this contract developed nicely. Come on down. Yes, that was a play on words. It, it was. It was kind of a terrible play on words, but it was a play on words. I, I understand. I think maybe what we want to do as well is maybe we should get some raptors into this pen. That could be pretty cool. They won't mess with each other, apparently, the raptors and the spino. I'm not really sure. Could I actually put another spino? No, if I put another spino in here, it'll be real bad. But I could put raptors in there fairly easily. At least that's kind of my understanding. And then there's the matter. Why are you unhappy? Because you're always unhappy. You just refuse to be happy no matter what I do. Stupid Brachiosaurus. Ah, those guys. Okay, it's fine. So I'm thinking... I mean, with how much space we have... Like, we really don't need to have Spinosauruses and, and Velociraptors and all that kind of stuff in separate pens. Like, we've got enough space here. Or I should say we don't need them in, in the same pen. We can put them in separate pens. We have so much space that it wouldn't be super difficult. To do this. So let's clear some space over here. Just like so. Just get rid of all these trees and stuff that don't belong. In including that one. This is one lone tree here that just refuses to disappear. What if I add water? Nope. <laughs> this one tree just will not go away. Okay, well, be that way. Um, let's go back to the maximum size. Let's go flatten... And we are going to start flattening stuff. Try to make it all a consistent height, I'm thinking. I don't know what height I want that to be, necessarily. Maybe like there-ish? Right? That's a lot of flattening, though. I don't know. I don't know if I like that, actually. Now that I'm seeing it, I think I'm liking this less and less. That's somewhere kind of in the middle. That's not bad. Yeah, I think we can work with this. We just gotta kinda... Just kinda flatten it out. It's gonna be a lot of terrain modification, but, uh, you know what? That's okay. The big thing is... It will end up being relatively flat. And will give us... Plenty of space to work with. At least, that's the hope. There we go. And I think we'll kind of, like, do a little bit of this. And then we'll kind of smooth the edges out, like... Alright? Just so it's not so, like, super defined. This isn't, like, the ideal, you know, solution, per se. But, it may work. Should be good enough for now. That'll be plenty flat over here. So then, we need to figure out what we're actually going to put in that area. We've got a new That's a super easy one. Let's do it. 
Expedition Center view. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. You and you. Let's get those sent out. That's totally okay. And we have fossils and stuff. And this is the Sorapelta that we're like researching, which will totally count for the purposes of that particular contract. So that's all good. What are you unhappy about? Oh, you're not. Your comfort is going up, I guess. I think. Yeah, okay. That's all good. Thought we were having problems there for a little bit, but I guess that is not the case. So I think, it, like, it seems like long, thin uh, pens are not the way to go. Like, it seems like you're much better off going with round, more, like, more rounded sort of open pens with multiple ways to see in. That's, that's kind of what I'm, like, picking up here. Now, whether or not that's actually true, I don't know, but that's what it seems like. I think what we're going to do is we're going to make a pen over here. For another very large critter. Like, that's pretty big. Is that bigger than this? Uh, I think that needs to be bigger, honestly, for what I want to put in here. So let's go back to power. Or not power. Let's go enclosures. Let's go here. And we'll just kind of build this out a bit more. And then back... Like so. Okay, that seems a bit better. So now, back to enclosures. Let's put a viewing gallery here. And a viewing gallery. Welcome back. Looks like the expedition here. was a success. And a viewing gallery here. And then we need a viewing platform. Ooh, this could be easier said than done. That actually could be okay. Go like... There. And... There. And then one more. It's the one thing we can't control and have right to there. accept about these creatures. That's a giant them have the thing. instinct to kill. What what are, you, what are you talking about? Why why are you saying that specifically? I'm confused. I don't know why you're upset about that. What what's what what's going on? I don't know. Whatever. Um anyway. Back to you. I need to bring this along here. That's a real thin path. Ooh, I hope my um I hope my monorail will actually like fit. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's change this a little bit, right? Let's say like here. And then we're going to kind of build this along that way. Like so. And then you'll kind of come around like so. Connect you to here. You to there. Got all sorts of bad stuff going on. That's fine. I'll deal with it. Demolish that stuff. All right. Path is all good. So let's see here. Diseases. Who's sick? 
you... Well, there we go. Those guys. Those guys are sick. Easy enough. Might as well resupply the ground feeders while we're down here. Actually, the uh, ground herbivore feeder... We're just going to get rid of it. Because it doesn't matter. And storm stuff is happening. So, open all shelters. And then this. This is... This becomes the challenge. So we need a large substation. And I don't know if that will power this whole thing or not. I'm assuming it won't. Like if I put a large substation here. And a large substation there. And then we can connect those up, like so. This will also need a gate. It's probably faster for them to come from that end, I imagine, instead of coming all the way down. So we'll put a gate, like, right here. Storm is not quite over, but it's getting there. Oh, disease again. Okay. Uh, you need to go repair that when you're done. Disease outbreak is controlled. That's great. Close all shelters. They're all doing stuff. Good. Uh, okay, we've got that to 100%. Sell, sell, sell. Fantastic. Okay. Next. Let's peek down here. And I think my big concern is that I'm not going to have enough space to do my monorail. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do our monorail... Uh, I kind of should probably have another station over here somewhere, if I can. If I can fit one. If not, then it is what it is, and I will just have to accept that. But we can put one, like, right about... ...here-ish. Yeah, like, right there. That should be good. Connect you over it looks like this is working and actually we could pass it over this which means that guests would be able to see the dinosaurs as they like pass over right as they like pass over this pen which would be kind of cool. All right, so that's good. Now we can go pylons. And now that we've got all that nonsense sorted out, go like here, 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 and there. Good. Now this is all powered. Is the whole entire thing powered? It totally is. Good. Okay. So now we have this giant pen. It does need some water. Let's look at dinosaur visibility. There is a couple spots here where you can't really see. Um, we could fix one of those pretty easily. Although the other option would just be to go enclosures. Um, gyro station. Put that right here and just kind of like build and uh, build. Kind of build it around like so.
All right, there we go. Gyro station, looking good. And this will be a carnivore pen of some sort. And then we'll just add in... A, oh, that's all water. Remove. Just kidding. Add a little bit more right here. But what I really wanted was uh, trees. There we go. Let's add in some trees and... Stuff like that. Put that, like, back here and stuff. There we go. Path not connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Word is that in ah, I should have accepted that. Oh, well. Too late. That was an easy one, but I turned it down for really no reason. I wasn't thinking. Uh, guests, emergency shelter, definitely need one of these in here somewhere. Right there seems fine. Also need Operation Storm Defense Station, since these are very much a thing on this island. Let's put one right... Yeah, I'll just put it right there. That's fine. Go paths. You connect. Storm defense station. Went in another one like over here somewhere. I don't suppose I can fit it in along that column. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, but we could probably kind of hide it like back here where nobody really cares. Although then it's not really defending everything that it needs. Then it's not like protecting everything it needs to protect. Perhaps I will just wait. There we go. So let's go. Operation Storm Defense. Here we go. So now we can see the range. So let's say like right about... There. Seems good. And it looks like that's already connected up. It's close enough to the path that it's good. Also have a feeder that is empty. I thought I resupplied that already. Maybe not. That's fine. Either way, I just looked at the time. Holy cow, I am way out of time for this episode. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.